Okay, hello Joanne, my name is Georgia and I'm your TAFE teacher today. Um, so today we're going to be discussing your assessment tool. So I'll just get you to confirm your name and that you are a TAFE student. Yes, I'm Joanne Dunn and yes, I am a TAFE student. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so today um, I've got a printout for you, which you've got in front of you, and I'm just going to read off um, my electronic version. Is that okay? That's fine. Now, I'm just going to be giving you feedback on your assessment tool. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, or if I'm, if you want to add anything in, please feel free, feel free to jump in. Okay, so um, just to my understanding, so the qualification code um, that you chose for this assessment tool is the Certificate 2 in Workplace Skills Release 2. That's correct. Yep. And your units of competency you selected was the BSB TEC 101 Operate Digital Devices Release 1. That's correct. Okay, beautiful. So I've just got the quality assurance template in front of me and I've also pulled up your assessment mapping because I feel like that would be beneficial to cross-reference. So I'm just going to be going through your quality assurance template. Um, so for the students, you've chosen four students and um, three shift bosses and one safety admin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your date trial is the 19th of August 2022. Um, okay. Alright, so the instru assessment instruments that you have chosen are the assessment, assessment uh, plan template, assessment cover page, knowledge assessment, project assessment, skills assessment, student unit um, outcome summary, student assessment feedback survey, validation review, assessment review and assessment mapping template. Um, now, the only thing I'd suggest there is you don't have a project assessment, so um, you'll have to remove that. So I'm just going to be going over your assessment tool, giving you feedback, and if there's anything you need to change, you can change that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, mark and guide is correct. You've got the BSB TUC 101. Um, your mapping is also correct. You've got the assessment template, which we've got in front of us, and then you've also used the BSB Tech 101 um, you've used that on, got all that information from the training gov website? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So just going through the administration sections now. So version control has been added. I have marked you as does not meet because you do need to add the version control, but um, that's just a simple word fix. Mm -hmm. um, spelling and grammar correct. Yes. So there were a few grammatical errors, but um, I did see that you have updated that since this version has come out. Um, moving into the assessment instrument um, criteria, so we've got um, collectively meet the dimensions of competency, yes, um, more than one assessment method in accordance with training package, so you use a great use um, of these, you chose the knowledge um, assessment and the skills assessment, which is really good, I think that gives that a good, really gives the students a really good understanding of um, the criteria. Um, collects evidence that covers the entire unit of competency and matches the overall intent of the unit. So I have marked you as um, competent for that. So I've just written down, your mapping tool is great. You have shown a great deal in ensuring all of the competency requirements are highlighted and matched with a marking guide checklist. So I really liked how you use um, on the skills checklist, you um, actually identified which performance criteria that met. So that made it really easy to follow and made sure that you definitely included all performance criteria, so that was really good. Um, so it does not require more evidence. So yes, yeah, so you, um, you have a great selection of evidence. I really liked how you ensured you related your scenarios to real life events that happen at CSA Mine. I think that's very beneficial to the learners and it gets them in the mindset. Um, moving down to criteria down here. So G, I've got include Clear instructions, which are easy to follow, yes, so everything was very clear, you used a great list of, um, or amount of questions and things like that. Your two scenarios were quite large in themselves, so um, I think you definitely covered all of that. So, um, pitched at the appropriate Australian um, qualification level for the unit being assessed, yes, so as I said before, you used the Training Gov website, and you cross-reference with the AQF standards. So moving on to compliance with current contractual licensing or regulatory requirements, for example, work health and safety. So I've written down here, you've shown a great knowledge of work health and safety requirements. I think it was great how you use the CSA policies and procedures like your slams, your hazards and things like that. I think that's a great way for the students to understand the content. 
Based on realistic workplace activities, so I really enjoyed the explosives misfiring scenario. I think that um, was really good because everyone that's going to be in the course is aware of those scenarios which they've actually probably dealt with themselves, so I think that was great. Um, allows for collection of sufficient evidence over time in different content, yes. Demonstrates current competency from the present. So I have, um, I have, uh, sorry, I have revived, revised. revised the current unit of competency. So the BS, BTC 101, and I can confirm that you have used the current version. Um, so it can be contextualized to meet the learning needs. Yes, you do that very well. Like I said below, you included all CC materials, policies and procedures, which were great. Clearly states what represents satisfactory completion of the assessment event and applic applicable conditions such as time limits. So yes, so um, as stated previously, the observation checklists are very clear and detailed, so well done with that. Use methods to ensure that evidence is provided um, in the candidate's own work, so um, yes. Include capacity for feedback and information. I do like how at the bottom you had um, a section where the student could give feedback. So that's really great, especially for you as a teacher. Includes opportunity for learner to provide feedback. So again, set out clear in the document. Moving on to the marking guides, um, which is probably my favorite bit of your assessment. So clear instructions to assessors regarding the assessment requirements and how to use the assessment instrument. So um, all three of these are yes, so including clear guidance on how the assessment must be conducted and marking criteria that includes model of the answer. So I do like how you have two separate documents, one just for the student and then one with actually the answers. I also really enjoyed how you had the observation checklist and like I said below uh, before, you match that with the performance criteria which makes it really easy to follow and it makes it... Um, really aware to you as a teacher um, if you have missed one of the um, performance criteria. So really well done with that. So assessment mapping, so demonstrate how the unit assessment um, task addresses all competence of the unit of um, competency. So here we've got elements, so performance elements, they were all um, elements sorry, and performance criteria were um, very detailed, so well done with that. Foundation skills were there, performance evidence were there, knowledge evidence were there, assessment conditions were there. So especially with the performance and the knowledge evidence, I like that you actually match them with the observation checklist as well, um, which really ensures that we're not missing anything in the training. Um, so just additional comments here. I've just got in this section, uh, sorry, ensure all documents are current version. So um, when you are contextualising, just make sure that you do contact the CSA safety team to get the updated versions of the documents. And assessment meets requirements as developed against performance criteria. Um, so yeah, really well done. Do you have any questions? No. No? Okay, great. Well, good luck. Thank you.